A team owner, Paul Allen, involved in an incredible exhibition at the Portland Art Museum, Seeing Nature Landscape Masterworks from the Paul G. Allen Family Collection, featuring 39 pieces from artists like Monet, Hockney, and more. See these masterpieces together in one place now through January 10th. Visit portlandartmuseum.org for more information. All right, it's uh, Wiz and Tone. We've given you our uh, eight playoff teams prediction-wise in the uh, West and East. We've given you the two conference finalists in each uh, of the Western and Eastern conferences. So time now to tell you who we predict from those uh, Final Four. We'll get to the NBA Finals and who our NBA MVP is. Uh, go ahead, Tone. East and West, who's going to be winning each conference to match up in the NBA Finals? Uh, Cleveland out of the East, and I was uh, I went back and forth. I actually feel like Chicago may – may have a chance, but I think it's ultimately going to be Cleveland out of the East. Uh, and this is a dark horse pick. I know it's a dark horse pick, but I just feel like they've made the proper steps to finally get there. And I think the Memphis Grizzlies, they've been knocking on the door for a few years now. They're certainly a talented team. They're a well-coached team. They've got a lot of talent. They've got one of the best bigs in the league. You know, Zach is, is certainly underrated as a power forward. I like what Mike Conley Jr. does. So I think they finally put it together and get to the NBA Finals this year. All right, and so who wins? Cleveland, Memphis, which would be a disaster uh, for the uh, for the uh, network, ratings wise. Oh, well, LeBron will be there. I was about to say LeBron will be there, so I'm not worried about that. And we'll get a, we'll pick up a lot of people in Spain, so they'll make up for it. It'll balance out. <laughs> uh, but I'm going with Cleveland winning the NBA championship this year. Uh, again, I think it's going to be a battle. The physicality of Memphis. But I think when you have the best player on the planet, you have the best opportunity to overcome that. And I think that's why Cleveland wins the championship. To show how different we are, because I have San Antonio as the third seed and Memphis as the sixth seed, I don't even have the Grizzlies getting out of the first round in the West. They don't have enough outside shooting, I think, to uh, to win a playoff series. They're going to have the same problems they've always had. So that's the way I look at it anyway. So I have. And, that's a, and I just want to point out there's nothing wrong with being wrong. There's nothing wrong this, with being right either. Um, well, how would you know? <laughs> oh, see, I'm quick, I'm quick, I'm quick. <laughs> Well, we don't know yet. <laughs> That's but these point. are being hermetically sealed, and yes. we'll uh, look yes. at them uh, at the end of the year. I have uh, Cleveland and Golden State getting to the NBA Finals, uh, a rematch of last Again? year, with a different uh, ending this time. I have uh, the Cavaliers winning. and um, But, you know, and, and a more entertaining series because both teams will be healthier than they were last year. So so I've got Cleveland winning it. You have Cleveland winning it. So yes. we, are, we are similar in that respect. All right, who is your MVP? MVP for the upcoming season. Got to go with LeBron. I mean, you, you, I can't go with a guy that's I – mean, you win a championship, I feel like that that kind of pushes you into the MVP race. So, for me, it's, it's got to be LeBron. Well, and that would be the, the easy choice to make. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people are making that choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I have a feeling that some back issues are going to, you know, come up every now and then. So I'm not sure. He made gonna... those up, man. I think he's going to take his time off every now and then. So I'm going with a rising star. Mm -hmm. A rising star that the Blazers will see in person on Wednesday night. I'm predicting Anthony Davis. This is a little bit more of an adventurous choice. But I'm going to pick Anthony Davis to win the MVP in the upcoming season. You're an adventurous sort. From time to time. So I, I can understand that. how you would go out on that limb. Yes. Now, speaking of adventure, we can certainly uh, we can certainly say that our surprise has come true. And isn't it nice? I love surprises. And I love when they can come true. So our surprise that we were hoping we would be able to deliver in the second half of the program is going to be available. That's Trailblazers head coach Terry Stotts in studio with us. And I got tough questions for him, too. Do you? Oh, oh he'll be ready for that. <laughs> All right. And uh, also, Blazers Director of Communication Jim Taylor is accompanying uh, – uh, Coach Stotts as well, but only Coach Stotts will be in uh, on, on the panel with us. So we'll talk to him about the start of the NBA season, his fourth in Portland. When we come back, it's Trailblazers courtside. We are simulcast on Comcast Sportsnet as well as the Blazers Radio Network and stream live at trailblazers.com.